EA Sports. It's in the game. In previous years of Madden, you couldn't feel comfortable on third and long and on, being on defense because you knew there was a good chance that your opponent was going to throw a corner to the wide side of the field. And the purple zones in the game just did not play the corners like you would want them to. This year, however, they've done a much better job with zone coverages and adding zone concepts and rules to the plays. Namely, this concept known as Cover 3 Mabel. Now, Cover 3 Mabel is going to be what you use against sideline floods. As you can see, the corner streak and flat on the same side of the field is still a good sideline flood, and it's still a very good option this year. But the Cover 3 Mabel is designed as such to defend these concepts perfectly if you know your opponent's going to go to them. So if you're the type of opponent that, or you're facing the type of opponent that's going to throw a corner every single time on third and long, Mabel is going to be your best friend because it's going to be there to stop that for you. If you go into Cover 3 Concepts, you can find the Cover 3 Mabel from the play call screen. And as you can see, it doesn't only just work against bunch, but it can also work against flooding concepts from more spread sets like this formation. And what's great about this is the hard flat is going to press the guy that he is immediately in front of and then uh, defend any other threat that's going to the flat. So notice here how every route on that flood was covered. And that's what's great about the Cover 3 Mabel is that it's going to provide a very, very good concept counter to the sideline flood. And that's what EA has done a very, very good job at this year is combating these concepts that people use. If there's something that you're getting beat by, you can use these concept counters to really do a good job to stop that and get the ball back on offense. Notice here that the hard flat is going to press the corner and then immediately trade off and take the flat as it comes into his area. It's just a, a great defense to help mix in, and um, it's a great defense to call really almost on third and long the majority of the time. Um, great defense, and I think it's going to be something that is going to get a lot of people stops this year. The red zone is an extremely hard place to score the football in Madden and in real life. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a nickel package and a cover four, which as we've discussed, cover four has both safeties in the run fit, so they're going to respond to the run much better. And what we're going to do is spy our defensive end in this cover four show two to protect against the scrambling quarterback. And then from there, we need to predict, does our opponent want to go to the corner? And if so, we're going to shade the coverage up to make sure we play the corners. Or does the, our opponent want to go to the flat, in which we would shade our coverage down and turn those purples into hard flats to help pick off anything to the flat, such as a hitch, a smoke, or a flat route. As you can see right here, with that simple shading of the coverage down, that turns the ability to defend the corners into the ability to defend the flats. This is huge because... In previous years, shading did not really affect whether or not those zones really did their job on corners or flats. This year, they're almost too good, in my opinion, which is a fantastic thing. Now we'll show you here, if your opponent wants to run the dive, notice how those safeties both respond to the run. We've defended the corners. We've defended the flats. We've taken away the run. Our opponent is going to have to ad-lib, and that's why we have this spy on the field, and our opponent is not able to get away. Cover four from any formation has both of the safeties in the run fit. This is great because compared to the cover three, you're only going to have the box safety in the run fit. This is going to put less stress on you as the user to determine what the strength of the formation is because you know that both of your safeties up top are going to react to the run. Note that in these runs, look how the first step or two of these safeties is to react to the run rather than stepping back. And here you can see that TJ Ward comes up and does a good job in run support. This is huge because you're going to notice that when you take a look at these cover threes, for instance, that the center fielder is not in the run fit, and unless the run is to the side of the safety that's in the purple, neither of those guys really factor in. You see that the safety that made the first hit was late, and the safety in center field isn't really reacting at all until the run is already hitting the second tier. So as you can see, 
all you really need to do is worry about the alignment of your front seven to make sure that you're aligned properly. And we feel that three, four under is a very, very good front. Under fronts in general are great because that nose tackle is aligned to the strength of the formation. As you can see, that nose tackle is lined up near the tight end side, and you're all going to play off of that nose tackle, creating havoc inside. And as you can see, with nine or ten guys in the run fit, you see that you have your front seven, your two safeties create nine, and then the corner on the right side is your tenth man. It's going to be very hard to run on a stacked box like this. Again, notice how this safety immediately reacts to the run, is able to play and run support. That tight end has to make a decision to block either the corner or the safety, and we're able to make a tackle for little to no gain.